Oh, yes, it is. The WordPress sidebar system is, in our opinion, one of the coolest features of all because it enables you to create powerful web pages on the fly by drag and drop. Due to this, you can place widgets on the left or right side, which is a very powerful approach to creating relevant content. So why did we make the effort by building a dynamic sidebar? The answer is very simple. Today's WordPress sidebars are a great thing, but they are static. So let us show you some of the features of the real dynamic sidebar, and don't pay too much attention to the details. You can trace that later step by step in the ebook. The first question is probably how many sidebars do you need really? Let's assume you're selling cars. You might offer sports cars and limousines, which would make two sidebars. But how would it be when you have U.S. made cars and some fancy European brands like Mercedes and some cool Ferraris? Wouldn't it be better to have in this case four sidebars, or maybe even 10 or 20, to make for each brand its own sidebar? By using real dynamic sidebar, you will have no more limitations because it allows you to create as many sidebars as you need. By this, you sharpen your content and increase the relevance of your content. And this is what keeps your visitors longer on the page and improves your SEO. But it gets even better because the next big question is, of course, where do you publish all these new height relevant sidebars? By this, you could have two or even three sidebars in a page, but isn't it rather unlikely that you want to have all your new sidebars on the same page? So we need a position management to decide which sidebar we want to connect with which posts, pages, or even categories. To keep this flexible, you can even decide if you want to connect a certain sidebar with a specific group of pages. By this, you can connect your sidebar on hundreds and thousands of pages on the fly. We call that global. Beyond the global concept, it is still possible to connect or even disconnect a sidebar separately with the particular page. By this, you can be sure that you're really in control to deliver your page visitors content that is always relevant. Where to place these sidebars? You will have with the real dynamic sidebar a powerful tool to increase the relevance of your page. But, well, power is nothing without control. Because we have to place the sidebar somehow in the page so that it fits the appearance, by this we get the idea to place the sidebar in an extruder to solve a major problem. Let me give you an example. What you see here is a typical WordPress page. On the left side we have our content, and on the right side we have the sidebar. Well, I could change that. One moment. Now the sidebar is on the left side. Nevertheless, regardless if the sidebar is on the left or on the right side, we face one big problem, and that is that the sidebar needs a height of approximately 3500 px while the content is much shorter. The result of this dilemma is that we had a lot of useless white space beside the sidebar. So here's a suggestion. By switching the position to right in real dynamic sidebar, I wrap that into an extruder. By this, we can make sure that the page has always well-balanced proportions regardless of the size of sidebar and page content. Hmm, what are you saying? The sidebar background is black and this makes it difficult to read because the fonts are also dark? Well, you are right. To make that work, we need access to the style. For this, the Real Dynamic Sidebar plugin delivers us a powerful style editor that works in a very intuitive way, as you can see here. In the meantime, I have already made some changes, so let me save that and refresh the page. And here it is. Okay, that's it. I hope you liked it. Please feel free to download the Real plugin and sign up for a free account to make the Real Dynamic Sidebar work in your page. Thanks for watching us. We hope to see you soon.